society has increasingly become dependent on technology throughout the years. I decided to look into the question, does the use of digital technology impact the attention span of the students that use it, focusing on its effects in elementary school? I am interested in answering this question as I realize that no matter what age you are, when a device such as a laptop with access to the internet, it is very easy to get distracted. As a future teacher, I want my students to get the most out of their class time. If technology distracts them from their work, it should not be used in the classroom. To begin my study, I consulted past research regarding technology and students' attention spans. One article that I found focuses on intrinsic and extrinsic motivation, suggesting that technology can allow for more differentiation and welcomes curiosity, which increases motivation and attention to the task at hand. A second article that I found outlines a study that states technology used for self-monitoring purposes leads to an increase of on-task behavior, attention, and focus. A third article suggests children naturally have short attention spans that can be matched through the use of technology. This article also points out that technology allows for more individualized approach to learning. Another article argues that children are trained to expect quick results. With constant exposure to technology, we can't expect things to be different in the classroom. The article mentions that for every positive aspect of technology, there is most likely a downside. Although many articles focus on the positive aspects of technology, there are some studies that prove otherwise. As one article states that so far, more s most recent research has shown that use of technology leads to a decrease in attention and comprehension going on to say that we have an information overload from the use of technology which hinders our ability to concentrate. Teachers, student teachers, educational assistants, and an administrator took part in my survey. Please note that all participants were over the age of 18. I assured participants that they would be protected from harm and that they would not be exposed to risk as their responses would be anonymous and did not lead them to give a particular answer. Before conducting my study, I received a human ethics certificate from the Government of Canada. To gather information, I made a survey with Google Forms and conducted an email interview with an expert in the field. As I received results, I collected the data and organized it using Google Spreadsheet. The results of how often digital technologies are used for lessons was tied between once a day and three times a week. Since students are required to use technology to complete many assignments, it is important that they remain on task. While only four participants claim to have seen students on social media sites during class time, this might be because the people that the survey was sent to are mostly in elementary classrooms and work with children who likely don't have a social media account. Eleven participants claim that they have caught students on a different program or site than they were supposed to be on at that time. The frequency of which participants caught students off task while on digital devices was fairly equally split between never having caught their students off task, at least one student per time, and once every five times or more the devices were used. Some benefits that participants mentioned about the use of technology in the classroom include its use by students with learning disabilities, its ability to engage students, as well as its ability to provide access to more current and detailed information. Even though all participants feel technology is beneficial, they also recognize some drawbacks to its use. These include students becoming too focused on the technology, technical issues, preventing students from developing certain skills, and students having the expectations to be constantly entertained and have instant gratification. The person that I interviewed stressed the importance of applying the technology properly into class and also mentioned the importance of keeping it balanced between the use of digital technology and more traditional resources. All participants in my study were able to provide me with helpful tips and strategies for when I incorporate technology into my future lessons. These strategies focus around teaching proper use of technology, ensuring it has a purpose, and engaging students. The information that I have gathered throughout this study will help me in the future as it has provided me with some insight into how to properly integrate technology into a classroom to ensure that students use both their time and my time effectively. In the future, it would be great to hear from students. How do they feel about the use of technology in the classroom? 
Do they find it difficult to stay on task when technology is being used? This study also brings up the question, how much control do we as teachers have over our students' activities when they are using devices such as laptops and iPads?